If this recent election season has shown us anything, it is the reality that electing Christians to public office, while important, is not enough. Those Christians we elect have to be mature, informed, and have a well-grounded biblical worldview. And for the most part, that has not been the case. Too often they have abandoned principle on vital issues, being blown about by the winds of political correctness. Without a firmly rooted understanding, they have often been swept away by the cultural tide. Our culture is in a grave moral and ethical decline. Yet poll after poll shows professing Christians feeding that decline by lowering their standards in vital areas such as God's design for sexuality and marriage, the proper role of government in life, and many others. Elections are majoritarian events. And the problem today is that the majority of people in our nation have only a wavering grasp of right and wrong, with their notions of good and evil rooted in personal preference rather than in truth. Dear friends, if we give up on our calling as people of the book, we become just another interest group engaged in the pursuit of power. The Bible clearly tells us not to put our trust in princes, but rather in God. We have come to a watershed moment in American history. Will we Christians stand upon the Word of God, the whole Word of God? Or will we unbiblically limit the scriptures to the realm of personal morality and ethics, abandoning the public square to the forces of a brutal and voracious secularism? There is a battle ahead, a battle for truth, for righteousness, and for the very soul of our country. Elections don't determine these things, and they don't change these things either. God's word determines truth, and the bold proclamation of his truth changes things. It is time for us as Christians to recommit ourselves to the Lord and to his truth and to trust God for the results. The scriptures remind us of the sovereignty of God with these words. The king's heart is a stream of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he will.